Come on. Ah, there we go. Got it. Perfect. Wow. All right. That's dark. Three, two, one, and diving. feet are too. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Hello? Hello? <coughs> Where am I? Oh, what happened? Uh, there's, a, there's a guy, a masked man, and a uh, lot of water, lots of water. Wait, decompression chamber. He says something about a decompression chamber. That might be where I am. Oh no. Oh, I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here now. Oh, okay. Uh, I can do this. I've done this before, I can do this again. Uh, metal bars here. Uh, come on. Uh, stupid cuffs. Uh, uh, this must be the decompression chamber. Uh, okay. Uh, I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here fast. I don't know who this guy is or what he wants, but uh, I can tell you he's bad news. Uh, all right guys, my memories are still a little faded here, but I thought I can remember I was being carried into a chamber. I, wait. Kidnapping. He said something about kidnapping. I've been kidnapped. But why am I in a decompression chamber? Where am I? Where am I being taken? Hello? Is anyone there? <sighs> I gotta get out of here. I gotta show these people they can't mess with Papa Jake. I don't care who this guy is. He's not gonna mess with me. Uh, uh, right, I'm gonna be able to get the string off my feet. Uh, got it. Uh, perfect. Now I just gotta get these cuffs off and get out of this box. There's gotta be something in here I can use. Uh, something I'm not seeing. What's this? Looks like some sort of ventilation pipe. Wait a second, I feel air blowing out of it. Wait, no, the air's not blowing into here. It's blowing out of here. This is sucking air. If I could get this string in here, I might be able to get it caught into the whatever fan's pulling it. If there's a fan inside here, and I get this string caught around it, I could use it as a wedge to pull off these bars. It's a bit of a stretch, but it's my only option. As of right now, there's no way to get these cuffs off. Let's try setting it up. Okay. Here goes nothing. I've got to feed the rope through here and get it wrapped around all these bars. And then if I can feed the other end into this exhaust valve, the fan inside should get tangled up with the rope and pull it. Considering this is a decompression chamber, the force should be strong enough to blow these bars off. Come on. There we go. I'm going to tie a knot. Uh, that should be good. Now I'm just going to stick this other end through this exhaust valve and hope the fan catches it on the other side. Hopefully this thing doesn't blow right into my face. Okay, here goes nothing. I should be able to catch onto the fan and pull these off. A little bit farther, come on. Hopefully it works. It's the only shot I got. Oh, it's got it. It's working. It's working. It's ripping the bars off. Oh, oh, okay. All right, that's one way to rip bars off. Man, that's one powerful fan. It caught that rope and pulled the whole thing out of here. All right, I should be able to get through these bars. They're ripped completely off. I should be able to slide through here. I don't know what kind of security this is, or really where we are at all, but uh, that might have drawn some guards, so I gotta be careful. Ah. 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 Okay, well, ah, it's fresh air, and we're out of the decompression chamber. Ah. Just gotta push up a little bit more. Ah, seems like that weakened the structure of it. Out of the chamber. Oh, the question is, where are we now? What is this place? Oh, where are they keeping me? All right, let's get the facts straight. A masked man showed up at my house and kidnapped me. I heard of them bringing me to a decompression chamber. I saw water, and I heard him say he kidnapped me for a fee. Put that all together. No, there's, there's no way we're underwater right now. Wait, no, 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 no. There's, there's no way. We can't be underwater. If we're underwater, there's. How am I gonna? How am I gonna get out of here? Wait, decompression chamber. That's that'd be the only reason he put me in here. We must be miles under the ocean. There's no need for a decompression chamber unless, unless this is some sort of sky fortress. I think we might be under the sea. This might be an underwater prison, or underwater fortress of some sort. 
Alright, I gotta figure this out. And most importantly, we gotta get out of here. I've gotten out of every other situation I can get out of this one. Alright, time to get out of this decompression chamber. Ugh. Doesn't look like there's any guards. Or any sign of life as we know it. But if we can piece together the puzzles and we are in fact underwater, I mean, there's gotta be a way out of here. An elevator, a ladder, something. Alright, looks like there's a wall here. Seems like they're just building this place. This place looks like it's not even built yet. They must have thought the decompression chamber would be enough to hold me, but they don't know Papa Jake. Now I gotta figure out a way out of here. And I think it means it's going through that wall. Some sort of emergency life raft? Uh, emergency life raft services. Uh, what is it? It is. It's an emergency life raft. Okay, well it definitely helps to confirm that we're underwater. Why else would they be an emergency life raft? All right, maybe I can use this thing somehow. There's gonna be something else in here. Wait, look, there's a gap in the wall where they're building. I can almost see through here. Looks like there's another room, maybe an airlock. All right, well, it looks like this is the only way out. I gotta get in here somehow. If I could just break down this wall, maybe I can use this life raft. Oh, perfect. This is an emergency inflator. This must be what they're using to inflate it. If I can stick the emergency life raft into this wall and inflate it, it should be powerful enough to break the wall. These things are built extremely tough. And looks like this wall is just being built. Yeah, if I can break it down, maybe I can find a way out of here. And by the looks of it, there's no guards or cameras. This thing must be brand new. Let's figure out where I inflate it from. Ah, here. Perfect. Let's feed it through like so. There we are. Okay, that should do. Now to plug in my inflator. And... Well, here goes nothing. Please don't pop on me. Please have enough power to blow this thing up. It's working! It's inflating! Perfect! It's working! It's a little bit more. The wall's moving! It's lifting the wall! The wall's lifting! It's breaking the wall! We did it! It worked! Oh, it broke the entire wall down! Oh, perfect! Oh, let's get this rubble out of here. Oh, Alright, I'll admit, I was kind of 50-50 that would work, but... Well, looks like we just broke a wall down using an inflatable raft. First things first, I want to figure out a way to get these cuffs off. I'm barely moving them. Maybe there's some info here. Something we can use, some sort of information as to where we are exactly. Well, there's definitely more emergency underwater gear. Tells us that we're definitely underwater. It looks like some sort of postcard. Welcome home. Your new life starts under the sea. This can't be where we are. This is... This is a city. This is completely underwater. I've never even heard of this before. This, this is a city. I thought maybe a, maybe a small prison or fortress or secret laboratory, but... A massive city under the water? If we are in fact in a city under the water, then we could be hundreds of miles under the water. I can't swim a hundred miles. All right, well, let me keep this for later. Looks like this was some sort of briefing room. Got information on different subjects. Looks like it's some sort of doctor file or maybe some of the people that work here. Wait, there's a computer terminal here. I might be able to use this. If I can hack into the computer terminal, I might be able to gather some information as to where we are. In order to do that, I'm gonna need my hands free. There's gotta be something in here I can use to break open these cuffs. Ugh. Wait, it's a medical box. I'm gonna be able to use some of the ingredients in here. Ugh, let me rip it open. Ugh. 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 What's this? It looks like sodium bentrate. Then there must be hydrogen peroxide. No med kit would be complete without it. Oh, perfect. Hydrogen peroxide. If you guys don't know what these two chemicals are, both of which on their own act as antiseptic. I mean, you put them on a wound and it doesn't get infected, but combine the two together and they're extremely acidic. If I can pour that inside the lock of these cuffs, I should be able to burn the tumbler and get them open. Carefully put some on the ground here. Once the reaction starts, it'll be quick. I've got to shove my cuffs into them and hope it's enough to burn them off. There it goes. Oh, it's getting really hot. Yeah. I got them off. Oh, oh, it's hot. Got a little bit of it on my hands. Oh, feels good to be free of those cuffs. Okay, now to find a way out of here. All right, like I said, there's a terminal here. I'm gonna hack into it and put the feed through to the camera. 
You'll be seeing the exact same footage I'm seeing. Maybe it'll give us a better idea as to where we are. With a little bit of root hacking, get us online. Perfect. And now to access protocols, DB database, and wait, yeah, security cameras. Hold on, I might be able to access the security cameras. Should give us a pretty good idea as to our location. And patching us through now. It looks like a surveillance feed of workers. They're they're building the city. We're underwater. Hundreds of miles underwater in a underwater city. That's why there was a decompression chamber. That's that must be where the guy came from. He must have come out of the water. He must have kidnapped me and brought me back down to his city. How can I escape from this place? There is no way this place is holding me. You hear me? There is no way you're holding me. I'm getting home. I'm gonna get out of this underwater prison. And you guys are coming along for the ride. We're underwater. Hundreds of miles underwater in a underwater city. How can I escape from this place? I'm getting home. I'm gonna get out of this underwater prison. All right, if the schematics are correct from the terminal I hacked into, it looks like this prison is an isolated compound. That's why it was under renovation. It was, well, just being built. So if I'm gonna escape from here, I need to make my way to the main compound, which means traveling from this isolated prison to the rest of the underwater city, which also means going about a hundred yards underwater, hundreds of miles under the sea with no scuba gear. Wait, with scuba gear? There's tons of stuff in here. It looks like that's the airlock. And well, considering they never expected me to try and swim hundreds of feet under the water, which means if I can formulate some form of scuba gear, I should be able to go through the airlock and swim to the main city, use their airlock, and hopefully find an escape to make it to the surface. Okay, first things first, I'm gonna need a respirator. I'm gonna have to be able to breathe underwater for a few minutes. All right, well, we have ourselves a diving mask. Ugh. This will come in handy. Thank goodness they have emergency systems in here. Now, if I can break this up with some oxygen, I should be good in terms of breathing. Look what we have here. Hands, we have a compressor. If I can compress enough air into this water bottle, I should be able to breathe out of it. I just need a uh, tube, tubing. Oh, perfect. Uh, whew. Okay, hope that wasn't important. But whatever this tube was used for, it's now gonna be my breathing apparatus. Looks like some leftover duct tape as well. Just gonna attach the hole here and duct tape over it. A few extra to make sure this thing holds. I don't wanna be running out of oxygen when we're out there. Now I know you're probably thinking, Papa Jake, this is crazy. You're using a water bottle with compressed air, a tube you found on the ceiling, and an old respirator mask to breathe hundreds of miles under the water while you go from one chamber to another. And you're right, it is crazy. There's about a 50% chance it'll work. Make that 10. But hey, you gotta live a little bit, and it's the only way out of here. Okay, with this rigged up, it should hold. Now to attach this to the bottle. But first, I've gotta pressurize this. Using the air compressor that came in handy when blowing up the dinghy, I should be able to pressurize it. Here goes nothing. Three, two, one. Got it. Oh, oh there we go. All right. This is an extremely pressurized capsule. This should give me enough air. Approximately five, maybe 10 minutes. Just like so. Because you know when you're making a makeshift scuba mask, safety is your number one priority. Also escaping from this prison is my number one priority. But with that little bit of work, we have ourselves. There we go, our makeshift scuba mask. Enough oxygen in here to last me 10 minutes. Breathable air system here with a nice visor so I can look around, snorkel if I ever need it, and now I just need a way to get about 100 yards in five minutes. And I think that's where that's coming in handy. Looks like it's a portable sea dew. Nope, it's not a battery. Okay, let's see what we're dealing with here. Okay, let's see if I can get this thing working. No, come on, come on, come on. It's not working, there's no power. There's no way I'm getting across with just my oxygen tank and swimming. I gotta get this thing up and running. Maybe I can jerry-rig it somehow. Uh, let me see what we're working with here under the hood. Uh, uh, oh, great. No battery. Well, it's better than a broken motor. All right, if we can find this thing a battery, uh, we can get it working. Uh, looks like everything's auxiliary powered in here. But just maybe, uh, there could be something in here. Uh, first off, let's open up the airlock. 
That should open up the other side and unlock this side. Now that we no longer need this, let's take out its battery. Ugh. All right, that's disconnected, which means this should be safe to touch. Ugh. And we got ourselves a battery. Let's see if we can fit it in here. All right, slide it in like so. Oh, perfect. Now we'll just need to plug it in. Got it, got a spark. All right, we're locked. This thing's plugged in, ready to go. We've got power. <laughs> All right, made a homemade breathable scuba tank and we're able to jerry-rig an underwater sea dew. I have to say, I think we're getting pretty lucky. Hopefully there's no sharks. All right, let's get everything set up. Attach it here and here. And ceiling now. All right, it works. Now to open up the airlock and get out of here. All right, let's get my mask on before I open this up. Like I said, this compound is isolated from the rest of the city, so I don't know what's gonna happen when we go out there. In fact, I don't know what to expect. 100 feet underwater though, we're looking at it being pitch black. I also don't know what kind of animals or worse lurk out there. But if I can make it across to the other airlock, I should be able to sneak in. Doesn't look like they have any security cameras in here and I, and I really don't think they expected me to make it this far, so it doesn't look like anyone's coming after us. Got my mask, got my oxygen. And I got my mode of transportation. Let's open up this airlock and get out of here. All right, looks like this is the airlock. Uh, as far as I can tell, there should be an exit down below. ROV is working, mask is on. All right, it looks like I've got enough oxygen in here to last for a little bit. I also found this flashlight here, so it should help me see underwater. Uh, here's the latch to get out. All right, here we go, and ah, come on, ah, there we go, got it, perfect. Oh, wow, all right, that's dark. Okay, all right, I can do this. As long as I can find the other airlock, I'll be okay. I don't have a lot of time, but I should be able to make it with the supplies I have. All right, just gonna get my ROV in first, and I should be able to dive in. All right, let's grab the ROV and get it in the water. I'll bring my flashlight as well. Once I'm out of this airlock, I don't know if the door shuts behind me, so I have to make sure I'm quick. Hopefully there's no sharks down here. All right, well, here goes nothing. Three, two, one, and diving. Okay, it looks like I can breathe. Oxygen's running fairly free. There's no problems with the suit so far. Looks like everything's working. Extremely dark. We must be hundreds of miles under the sea. I can barely see anything. Visibility is extremely low. RV is working though. Alright, so you guys should be able to hear me over the onboard radio system. Now I gotta make sure I can serve my oxygen. I don't have a lot. Then I've gotta find this other airlock. Come on, I can't see anything down here. The flashlight's only giving me a few feet, but I definitely see I definitely see some lights up ahead though. I'm we'll starting moving towards that way with the RV. Looks like there's ground here, concrete. This is a natural seabed. There's gotta be something. Uh, come on, come on. Ooh, wait, what was that? I just heard something moving around me. It looks like it's clear. I don't know what could be down here. It could be sharks, guards, anything. Alright, it's gotta control my breathing. I can't start panicking now. If I breathe too much of this oxygen, it's all gonna be gone. Wait, looks like I see a building up ahead. Looks like it's attached to a larger structure. That, that must be an airlock. Alright, I'm gonna make it over there with the ROV. Yeah, there! I see an opening! Alright, I can go through there. Okay, we made it. Now let's see where this takes us. Welcome! I will now prepare you for your initiation. Wait, what? What'd you say? Oh, ah, 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 what's going on? Where's it coming from? Ah, stop that! Ah, are you here? Ah, oh, Welcome to oh. Airlock Terminal 43C. What? The 32nd installment of the Underwater City. I'm ready to start my new life. What, what just happened? Oh, my, my hair. I cut my hair. And I'm all dry. 
What's going on here? I'm pleased to announce that I will be going over your introductory tutorial to your new life under the sea. New city? What do you mean? What, what's, what's happening? Hello? Can, can you hear me? Is someone there? Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. Where am I right now and how do I get out of here? You are in airlock terminal 43C. Unfortunately, there is no way to exit once what? entered. What do, you, what do you mean there's no way? What, what, what do you mean I can't get out of here? No, 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 there's gotta be a way. There's gotta be a, a, an elevator or a, or a submarine, something. Would you like to receive a complimentary starter no, pack for your new life under the sea? No, I don't want a starter pack. What? Listen, listen to me. Listen. I need to get out of here. Perfect. Here you go. What? Wait, what's this? What are you giving me? Starter pack? Yes, it's your starter pack with all items you'll need for your life under the sea. No, I don't want a new life under the sea. You're not listening to me. I want to get out of here. All right, guys, looks like we're in some sort of new airlock. Whatever this is, it looks like it's the entrance to the whole city. As far as this robot knows, it thinks I'm some sort of new citizen. Really liked my hair, too. Okay, let's see what's in here. Maybe it's got something you can help us with. What is this, a coat? A dried out chocolate chip cookie ration? Pineapples? Why do I need pineapples? Pineapples are an important part of keeping your vitamin D levels up while under the sea. No, I, I don't care about my vitamin D levels. All right, look, this robot's gonna be no help to us. We've gotta get out of here. If we got in here, there's gotta be a way out. This looks like some sort of staging zone, so through that door there should be the rest of the city. I can't imagine they make a city without submarines or an emergency elevator or something. Looks like there's a notebook in here, too. Alright, this might come in handy. I also recommend that you take this as a defense measure for the incident what? that has occurred. What do you mean something happened? What? Take, take what? What? What is this? Is that a... Is that a... Blaster? Why do I need a blaster? Goodbye for now. No, no, don't say goodbye. Your job's not done here. Alright, I gotta get out of here. I gotta figure out what's going on. Give me a blaster too. Seems like something happened in the city. Something's not right. I haven't seen a single person. I mean, this is a staging zone. There should be other people here. There should be a guard, something. Looks like some sort of huge catastrophic event's gone in the city. Let's get through this airlock door and see what's happening. All right, well, I'll take this with me. Airlock door's just over here. Should be able to access it through this panel. Power control's on. Last on, and airlock open. Perfect, looks like it worked. All right, let's get through here and see what we're dealing with. Wait. Oh, 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 what is that thing? What is that? Oh, so close. Oh, hello? What is this, like some sort of fish person? Oh, this can't be good, this can't be good. I'm freaking out, guys, what is that? I've never seen anything like this before. Is that what he was talking about? Is this the is this the catastrophe that's going on here? Oh no no no! Looks like it's still breathing. I gotta get out of here. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Oh, that was close. I'm extremely scared right now. I don't know what's going on, but in terms of information, I know we're in an underwater city, tens maybe hundreds of miles under the sea. Something's gone wrong here. The robot didn't tell me much information, but what he did tell me is there's been a catastrophe. And that's, well, why he gave me this. And good thing for it. I had to use that thing right away. I don't know what that was, though. Some sort of fish person? I've dealt with zombies before, but that, that, that looked like a fish. It definitely wasn't human, and it looked like it was going to attack me. If you guys have any information on what that could be, let me know. Wait, what's that? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, the bullet must have gone through. It's leaking. Oh, this can't be good. Oh, this can't be good at all. We're under the sea. If the pressure changes in here, this whole place could fill with water. Emergency what? patching services online. P patching? What? Patching hole in laboratory 22A. Patching. Oh, the water. It stopped. The robot must have patched it somehow. Okay, well, at least we know the system's up and running. If it means the city's running at that capacity, then submarines or elevators, anything that's working to get us to the surface should be online. The people in here might have changed into some sort of weird fish creatures, but uh, the station itself is still running. Uh, maybe I can figure out some information in here. Find out where the next airlock is. Uh, there's gotta be something in here. Uh, test tubes. Wait, the machine, this is this is what they had me in. It's, uh, it's a decompression chamber. Uh, 
they must have been using this all for people that come down here. There's gotta be some information here. What happened? Why did the people turn? What am I saying? Why, why does it even matter? I don't care. I just need to get out of here. These fish people can live here all they want. I don't know who would want to live hundreds of miles under the sea, though. Oh, it looks like there's some paper here. Green cell door. What's this? These are prisoner files. They have prisoners in here. These are prisoner files. They must have other people in here. What happened, though? How did these people turn? These are all prisoners. There are files on them. There must be a file on me somewhere here. And this must be the laboratory where they've been setting everyone up. There's gotta be some more information here, something I can use. Hello, citizen. Are you there? I'm requesting to talk to you about some important information. What? Perhaps you could help me. The robot's back. Yeah? I can hear you. Perfect. As you may have noticed, we're having a little bit of an issue with the installation. It would seem as though a virus has outbroken, and people are turning. With only a few remaining survivors, I'm requesting your assistance in stopping the virus outbreak. I've reviewed your prisoner files, and it appears as though you are one of the most equipped at dealing with a situation such as this. Would you be able to help me? Look, I'm, I'm not a prisoner. I don't know why I'm here, or who paid you to put me in here. But I should not be inside this place. I'm not gonna help you, okay? I just I want to get out of here. I want to find the closest submarine or elevator and just get out of this place, alright? I don't want to deal with mutant fish people. Very well, then. Goodbye for what? now. Hello? No, no, come back, come back. I need more information. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, come on, there's gotta be something here. Maybe something in this thing. It looks like it's locked. No, no. Oh, I don't know how to get through this. Wait, what's that? Some sort of weird squishy ball. What is this thing? Oh, that feels disgusting. What is this? It's almost like a an egg of some sort. It's completely filled with water. I've never seen anything like this. What if I squish it? Oh! Ah! 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 Oh! oh no, what is that thing? Some sort of spider? Oh! It's moving towards me! Ah! Ah! Oh! Alright, I stopped the spider. Is that what came out of that sack? Oh, is that some sort of spider egg sack? That's disgusting. I do not do good with spiders. I do not do good with spiders. I need to get out of here. Prisoner, I've returned with a proposition of sorts. Proposition? I'm willing to help you escape. This is what I've been saying. I need your help to escape. How do I get out of here? Help me defend the installation against the mutants, huh? and I will give you safe passage to the surface. I know, I know I have a pretty long list of things I've accomplished, but... But stop being mutant fish people is not one of them. Come on, you cannot do this. You gotta help me out. The only way I can help you is if you help me. Okay, fine. Fine, all right, I'll do it. I'll, I'll, I'll do all I can, but look, if, if I'm not able to stop them for whatever reason, you have to promise me you'll still let me out. I'll try my best. Very well, we have a deal. You might want to look to your left. Behind you is the submarine door access. Submarine door. Okay, all right, perfect. Thank you. All right, guys. Looks like this is the hatch to the submarine room. Uh, uh, oh, it's locked. There's got to be some way to get it open. Oh, release valve. Uh. All right. That should have done it. Uh, uh, come on. Uh, there's got to be another way. There's got to be another way. Um. Oh, looks like there's a key card slot here. Uh, there's got to be something here. Something in the notes, key card, key card, uh, something. No, 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 I can't, I can't be in here. No, no, no. Uh, come on. It's the only place a key card could be. It's gonna be a way to open this, a like code, uh, something random. Uh, I have one bullet left. Let's try this. Three. Two, one. No, it didn't work. Oh, no, it didn't work. Patient files, that's not gonna do anything. Green. No, no, no. There's gotta be something in here. Wait. Looks like this is a quantum drill. They use this for drilling into highly advanced metals. This, this might work. It's a bit risky, but I might be able to drill into it with this. All right, here goes nothing. Let's see if this drill works. There it goes! It's drilling! Come on, come on! A little more, and... 
Ah! Ah! Oh. I think I got it. Alright, let's see if this worked. Just feel the turning knob here. Oh, I got it! It worked! It's opening! Guys, we did it! We opened the safe! The key card for the sub room. Alright, let's take it and get in there. Maybe we can find a submarine to get out of this place. I'm looking.